business wants the, uh, the, 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 the message to be lifted, the volume. So please work on this. They are our uh, listeners, so we must um, respond to their uh, recommendations. God bless you so much. Help me to sing, yes, Lord. I, I feel so, I mean, fulfilled to say yes, Lord, to the Lord, no matter what, in all aspects. I just want us and the church to prepare our hearts, and this is our message and our response to God. Yes, Lord. Oh. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. My life is yours. Say it with me. that you bestow upon me, that you bestow upon us, individuals here, even our very, very blessed, we thank you. Lord, we know as we are at your feet, just to suck from you, even your word, which is more than anything, and it is sufficient for our survival and our very lives. We thank you this morning that you have blessed us so much. And for that reason, let the church shout and give him some praises. Let's give praises to Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless him. Bless Amen. him. Praise Bless the him. Lord. Bless him. Bless him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My, my heart, heart, my heart is, is yours. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's about saying yes. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. My is yours. I have a word to pass on to you. And if you like, watch it, examine it, and come back and do the analysis and conclude it yourself. If this is true or false, make the answer for yourself. I've seen plus plus people, I've seen people of image of majesty, I've seen people that are so successful, I've seen people even from the worldly and the spiritual aspect all together, and I found one thing about them, and I tip you to type into. They are people that knows to say yes to things. S that simple word, yes. The yes say people are people of faith. They don't analyze things so much. I was just sharing with my wife before we came to church, and I said, I was saying, Things of faith are all the time contrary to things of our senses. Things that makes faith. They are all the time, and all the time it contradicts with our ways. And so, in order for you to type in and see the art and the hand of God in your doing and in your life, even when it doesn't make sense to you, even when it looks crooked, even when it is blue and God says it is white, all you need to say, God, yes. You have no word to say, God, I see it blue. No, 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 no. If you know how to say, yes, Lord, 
you are already in the middle of swimming in your blessings and prosperity. Oh, he's about to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, simplifies, amplifies, settles, and make the word so easy and simple. So much so that you will not need to go through sometimes unnecessary brutalities that you go through. I have a word of God to share with you this morning. And before that, let's give a worship to the name of the Lord. Because I feel so honored. I know for sure. These very steps that brought you in has brought you right in the middle ocean of your blessings. And you are not going to come out and go back the same. If I have people, I'm not here to downplay you, but if really I have people who understand how to worship and how to worship, I mean, a, a, a worship of extravagancy, that which is beyond what man worships. You know, let me tell you one thing. When you see that the Lord has brought his visita visitation, it's when you have a system, you have a way of doing things, you have a way you play, you have a way you dance, you have a way you sing, you have a way you show your, your, your politeness, but all of a sudden you happen to fall in a stream. Trust me, that is where I can tell you, you are doing it in the spirit. So sometimes when I'm talking about worship and praise and the rest, I'm not looking for the one you have uh, memorized and imitated and <laughs> stylish or the rest and the good way you can put it and then you come and do I don't know and I'm not expecting that. I'm expecting that which comes and works in the stream. And that, let me refer you something. Probably you and I on the Bahamas and apology. I must be honest, and someone should mark what I'm saying. Last week, when it was predicted of the storm, the president even came on the television and the, nation, the national to solicit people to obey the instruction going out. He said it so much by even exaggerating and bringing in Alabama to where I don't know where he had his information from. I mean, I said don't blame him because he's, he said it himself that for the first time he heard of a level five, level five of hurricane. So I don't blame him with his, uh, uh, what we call it, uh, that wasn't confusion, it was an exaggeration. And I don't blame him. But then it was meant for parts in America. Look at what happened in Bahama. I was listening and following the news and it got to a point I said, do I make some one week to go and give my best? My best is what I can do. Hopefully when I go, I can serve ice water. It's not yet out of my table. Maybe I can make some time in between. But I don't want to promise because I'm still processing. I'm still thinking about what I would do in this situation. And this has also put some sense in my head that we should have a system in such an occasion we should create an impression. We should show love. Love goes beyond the boundaries and the walls of the church. It is so much on my heart and wait and see. I will do something by his grace. But what I'm talking about is that someone says prevention is always better than curing. When you prevent things, they are better than when you have remedies to uh, cure it. That we used to play jokes with it that pr provision is better than cures. You see, what am I talking about? When we came here on the Friday prayer time, those of you, Miss Ancien, tell me what we did. Just stand by me here. I don't want to sense any remembrance for you. I want you to tell we were here. What did we do? How did we pray? No, 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 no. The, 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 the way we prayed, if he is missing it, someone should bring it in. Put the worship aside. I want the... Oh, did, have you forgotten we lifted our hands? And we showed the hands to where? 
Are you getting it? This is where we, thank you. Yeah, to the sky. But we were very specific. We were here, mama. We said we heard it's coming to Florida. That is why I'm saying we own the Bahamas and apology. We never mentioned the Bahamas. We said Flo uh, Florida specifically. We served the Ca uh, South Carolina. We mentioned only in the boundaries of United States of America. And am, am I getting it, brother? And we prayed that we even want this to happen. We are nullifying it. I told them we are praying the prayers. We have no answer to anybody. But don't come and tell me how they did happen. Because I know God knows his time. I was monitoring the storm yesterday. And I was not hearing anything about it again. That's what I'm saying. If we are people that can type into the things that God are doing. Who, who went and stopped it there? At a point in time they said it was hanging. It was so slow. And in the slowness it was gathering its momentum. If I'm saying it right. To come and kill us. They are momentum. To come and kill us. Sometimes I create my words to create some impression. And after he went up and he went up, like we used to sing our song in our day nursery recitation. The storm has fell flat. No one turned it I'm here to gratify God, I preach. I'm here to talk about God, I preach. I told you last that, hey, I have prayed about the things of immigration. And if any nation, them 10 citizens that God has brought them there and temper them without care, that nation will sink economically. Didn't I say it here? By the time I said it here, all over the world, there was an announcement that was, that was the president's stronghold that was bragging about the economy. I've made it fabulous, and I agree with him. All in the history of the past, no president has done what, what Trump has. But the very week of the immigration and the eyes going out picking people, I'm telling you, there has been an information out there says that now the president's heaviest headache is about the economy. Even though he doesn't say it publicly, the news is read behind doors that he is now looking for a formula how he can answer in case he stands 2020 and this economy backfires. Look, let me tell you, when you come here, you don't just come to a church that you walk through, but you come to a church and you come to a presence of a man who rather walks through you. Yeah. Who walks through you? I was telling you last that God is looking for a church. God is looking for men of God. God is looking for any individuals. God is looking for people. God is looking for pastors. God is looking for those that can stand in the gap. And that's what I was telling you last that. Praise God. But forget about the size. Size is very important. I no more still believe in whatever two or three are gathered in the name of God. If from the time of Paul, it's still whatever two or three has gathered, then the church is in trouble. I believe in numbers. Trust me. If when I married Mary and when we were two, we are still being two, we would have not been here. Probably by now we were using the tongues to pray for more children. So additions and multiplication and increasing growth is very, very important. But then God doesn't dwell in that. He dwells in whom he has got. A man he has got to stand in the gap. To say, yes, Lord, turn away situations. Turn away issues. I mean, a man that God can call them his method and system. 
that when they speak, he has spoken. Forget about the, 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 the issues. Forget about their good grammar. Forget about their, their, their education. Praise God, they are all that will be added to. But the main thing, the main thing, is where God can stand in the image and in his presence and can say like he said to the Job's, he is my man. And he said and he said to the Abrahams, he is my friend. How can you see God being your friend? And then you'll be walking on the streets and talk boys' talks. No more bullying. No more he is bigger than the rest. No more he is white, he is black, he is slow. Even up till now, go to a big city. They know a city of a levels. It's not gone. Don't be uh, me coward about that. But God coming to your level to be your friend. Look at it. Think about that. Think about that. And look at it. God calling this his church. Calling you his body. To dwell in you. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you last week, no man on this earth can shut me up. Because I've understood the man who walk on the sea. I've understood a man who big seas and cause them to be ordinary walls for his people to pass through. Have your back ever been against the wall before? Being financially and etc. I recommend for you this man. This man of Galilee. He is wonderful. You see, if you understand God and you understand him and understand him and you get closer to him and his presence saturates you to a certain level, Excuse me, if you don't take care, two things will happen. You, you, you become, I mean, you become, I mean, what do you call it? Blagger. When you, you, you swear, that is why you become blagger. But if you don't become blagger and you stay in the streams, you stay in the lines, you become so confident that Paul will say, and I know. That means he has crossed the level of just faith to a new level of I know. He will not let me down. It seems that this meant I haven't made the gate. But I know God, when yesterday there was nothing, he stood where there was no to call a hope. You see, I want to talk about this man to you. He wasn't for just the yesterdays. Not even for the todays. But he is yesterday, today, Give him a praise and worship. Now, don't let me be thrown away. Our message today, say with me, letters. Say with me, letters. If you can say it better, go. And let's give a clap to the name of Jesus. Let us. Now, before we do a little reading or even great reading, let's think about letters a little Letters is, is the, the majesty of the speaker. Anyone that says letters, his letters qualify, qualifies his majesty. You understand me? So, if God is a king, if Abraham is the leader of the Israelites, if Pastor Samuel is the leader God has committed well performance under his care, his majesty, dignity, power lies in where his leadership will mobilize his people, and so mommy will say letters. And anytime he tells them letters, great things follows. Let's take from the scriptures. According to the book of Genesis chapter 1, number verses 26. Let's read with me if you want my, I know you want. And this time I expect a powerful reading. A reading that will cause your throat to be, I mean, melt down. And give glory to Jesus. Can I hear amen? amen. When we say respond amen, I want to hear the men saying it in barito. Amen. amen. Yes, I like that. Can we read Genesis 1, 26? Then God said, let us make man in our image 
according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Give the Lord a worship. Now, 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 you see why you are great. You see how majestic you are, the source and the reason and the root. The root is that once upon the time, the Bible says this is truly, truly saying from God's word. He came from nowhere that no one made him or created him or called him, but came to himself. He said, I want man to see me just the way I am. So I called the sea to be, I called the fishes to, rain in, to come into the sea. I did all by creation. But as for man, I'm not going to create him. I'm going to make him. I'm going to make him. And you know, makers are the identification of the original or the manufacturers. So I will do one out of all many I have brought to be. So as for that one, it will be exceptional. That's what makes human being exceptional. So that whenever even I'm not there and they see him, when the elephants see the man I've made in my form, he doesn't need to come and look for me anymore. Because my very being, my very image, my habit, my reasons and intellectuals and my image of uh, spontaneous senses will all be in him. And whenever you see him, then you have seen me. When he speaks, I have spoken myself. Let me give an example. When after all he's made and he brought this man back, to life in his image. After he has breathed or has put in into his nozzles his life, which is the spirit, the Bible says the body that was out of clay stimulated and get revived and he became a living being with a soul, having interest and in everything that God has and who God is. The Bible says when God gave in charge to the man he made first, he said, I'm testing you. You see, test is in everything. If that doctor you like to go to examine you, if he has not been tested and proven, and you want to go to that doctor three days ago, well, that was last week or two ago. We have a particular doctor that attends to us, my wife and I. And then my wife called and made an appointment, and they told her, your doctor will be so-so-and-so. Previously, they call some, I don't know, some Indian name or whatever. Then you know that's my doctor. But this time when they call it was a name that denotes a Nigerian. Sorry, I don't mean Nigerians are not good. Then my wife just jumped on, no, that's not my doctor. My doctor is this one. He said, no, this one is a, an expert. What was the reason of my wife calling for her doctor? Because he, 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 he has, she has that confidence in him. So hearing that name was not familiar to her. If that doctor has not been tested and affirmed and specialized, woe to you when you go to him for a surgery. Trust me, he will cut your nose without putting it back. So anything needs to be tested. So hopefully, God said, Adam, I put all my senses into you. Let me see if that works right. And God in his mind knew everything already. That makes him hot, omnipotent, omnipresent, all-knowing. So he knew whatever name Adam was going to give. So when he brought Elephant, I was looking to Adam's face to see what Adam would say. If he hadn't been tested and really made well, and Adam would have said, elephant was an antelope. It reminds me of one teacher, when those days, when you were a teacher in a village, we call you Adamai. And then he happened to be one of the villages where I come from. And then there was a particular very beautiful girl, so from Miami, very beautiful, maybe just after you. And then this girl, Trust me, 
she was totally sting fish. What the sting fish? My money. What boom? And kasa. And this guy was a big girl in the class. Everybody knows that teacher. We don't play with this girl. Then one day the teacher asked the class, "What is uh, dogs? Uh, what is Kraman's English name? That is Kraman." To those of you that are listening, is dog. And every day this girl gets it wrong. So for that day alone, she lifted her hand up, 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 up. and she, the whole class was clapping. Hey, as for today, as for today, she's going to get it. Then teacher said. Sister, so, so and so, I don't want to call a name. What is the name of dog? I mean, what we call it, Kanamai in English, he stood up. <laughs> Teacher Pa. <laughs> Teacher Pa, Jabe Minim. <laughs> yeah, Jabe Minim. Teacher said, Okay, I know you know he say Dog, Nyapongoni. <laughs> you understand? Nyapongoni, that means, is it not a horse? Teacher said, your mother, your father. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, sit down. So, <laughs> dog, <laughs> is a dog a horse? Trust me. That was probably how God was looking to Adam. Had Adam called an elephant, let's say an antelope, God would have said to himself, no, he hasn't come really to my image. But this time, he was getting everything excellently. Say with me, excellently. He brought an antelope. He was an antelope. He brought a cat. He was a cat. He brought a what? Uh, the sorcerer and etc. And no. And even to extend, he brought the woman. He says, this is not Adam. This is Eve. I wasn't alive when you were bringing her. But she's a bone of my bone. I knew what you did. He had the interest that depicts the image of God. The senses was right. So I want to tell you, you that was the majestica of God's image in us. Now, let me tell you once again how you are. I remember if I didn't come to see much, I grew somewhere in 65 and the rest, and I saw even that time from 66, 68, after the cool of Kwame Nkrumah, which brought down the first president of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. People were pulling down the images. Are you understanding me? Because when the image of Kwame Nkrumah, before you enter Accra, you will see a big what? Statue. That represents that this is the president of what? It's like these days, have you been seeing it? You go to every office, which picture will you see? Donald Trump. Yes, recently, about three years ago, you go to every office, which picture do you see? Obama. You see, the picture is the image of the person who is in control of the place. So God put us in place on earth so that we will be his hot image. That is why we are the very image of whom God. Are you seeing whom you are? So he said, let us make man in our own what? Image. According to our size, according to our way of thinking, according to a way of we doing things, everything about us should be the same about the man. And that is why we are the image of God. And I want to say something. Anytime the word, the word let us, the phrase or whichever let us is used, it means something progressive, something manufacturing, something creativity, something innovation follows. Increase that let us. Because let us is always released by a leader or someone in authority or a dignity that the rest cannot say no to. So I'm here to say that if we are the image of God, then our very language should depict the language of God. And if we speak in God's language, then what is our phrase? You got it. Let us. So if God 
says let us and us is in plural that means God solicited he brought people around him to move and create and spread and expand so you could see the very uh, responsibility and the assignment he committed to man he said increase after the letters everything was bah, 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 high 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 release 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 I'm here to motivate. I'm here to bring people to where they belong. If I can wake up as a leader of the family, all that I need to tell Mary, letters. And whatever follows is bound to be successful. All you need to say, letters. I'm looking for people that will begin to talk letters in this church. You know what letters can bring? I was in Ghana, and I had a women ministry went to D.C. And when they came back, they were giving me all powerful and very progressive testimonies. All it started with, one person said, what? Letters. Do you know what letters can do? Letters ignite evangelism. If we have the, the letter speakers after God's language, people can just start to create in this church. Let us make businesses. Let us start to marry. Let us start to do things. You see, the women ministry will say, let us go to an evangelism. You see, you won't have where the pastor will be detecting so much. You see, let us Letters can fill this church by next week. Letters is spoken by people of responsibility. That loves to share responsibility. You can come and say, let us fill the church. And the church will be filled. I'm saying and I'm going to prove to you. Anytime letters is spoken, the results follows is always positive. Now, Let's see something if we would like to read. Letters in the book of hopefully 2 Kings chapter 10 verses 4. The Bible says, this is for example, please, that is 2 Kings 4.10, excuse me, 2 Kings 4.10, listen to what the Bible says. It says, please, let us make a small upper room on the wall. And let us put a bed for him there, and a table and a chair and a lampstand. So it will be, whenever he comes to us, he can turn in there. Who is saying this? We're talking about a fabulously, I mean, rich woman. A woman of substance. Being a wife of a great, great, great leader of a particular nation who commands armies and the rest and everything under his control. But then, not until this language was spoken, there was a lacking in their marriage, in their life. You know? So the Bible says, this woman watched the man of God being man of God prophet, trust is, is Elisha. He, she watched him closely, he is tracked and in and out, religious and missionary, up and down. And then one day, she went to her husband. And he said, darling, listen, when you go to the person you need something from, what are the things you ask? Are the things that pertain in the support and the progress of the things of God? Let's learn from this. This is the will of God. The will of God is speaking the language of God. And when the language of God is spoken, it doesn't care how the circumstances. Ignition and light is supposed to bring forth a start. The Bible says she went to the husband and he said, Darling, please. That's what I said. People that know how to say letters are polite. They are people that knows how to use their language. He says, please, let us. Because she was soliciting the involvement of a very powerful man. So say, let us. I'm not commanding you. But let us, for our own good, make a place for this man of God. 
And as soon as the woman said that, the husband said, so it is. Let's do it. The Bible says, they built for the man of God. They increased the award to create a, a, a place of reception for him. And when the man of God came and he relaxed and after a while, he called his senior servant. Gehazi, is that right? He said, come on, look through and what do you think this woman needs? Initially, they were contemplating and the man of God's servant thought they are so rich that they don't even need anything. Who told you someone doesn't need something? Always there are needs. And the Bible is the only way that says he will meet all our heart needs. According to what? Through. There you go. So needs are here. Get ready and bring it at his feet. The Bible says when he brought it at the husband's feet, the husband said, it's up to you. Sometimes you think you are so okay. No, there's nothing like okay. The deeper you get in the Lord, is more you want. The Bible says, and the husband permitted her, and they did. And as soon as they did that, this is what happened. This husband was been sleeping with the wife almost every time as usual. But one time, it was a different one. The wife conceived, and the Bible says, brought forth a son. Those days of life, when you get a firstborn son, it means your success has been sustained. Let me tell you the truth. This is my word. A success without a successor. Don't let me use a word. Are you getting me? I say, reason it yourself. A success without a what? A successor. A success without a successor. If you want, let me give you an example. Moses had a success. But he had a successor who was whom? Joshua. So he was able to continue his good works to take his people to the promised land. But Joshua had a greater success than Moses did. I'm telling you the truth. Look at the promises God gave him. He said, I will be with you in all things. But Joshua never had a successor. So after Joshua, the Israelites broke into judges, wasn't it? And it was the judges that followed and followed and followed and even got to the time of the man earlier whom Samuel lived with. For him, as for his children, hi, German would say they were kabu. To the time God said, I'm no more going to speak to my people again. Because I've seen of an abundance of abomination. He had no success. Joshua never brought out a successor who will succeed him. Look, God, talk to my children and see. This time, I told them, after, after my father left into the Lord's glory, and I came back, I said, whoa. I'm sorry to say this. Had I not jumped into the gap by the grace of God, all this my father did on earth would have vanished for nothing. And I'm talking of a man of a level for over 100 houses on the face of the world. Hey, as you live, even now, as you know, when I drop down, who can carry on this church? If up to now I have no one in mind, it doesn't care your praises. It doesn't care how good and how antivivian nice attire you brought to me. Am I not looking good? Am I not looking good, Kwesi? And so what does that mean? More. <laughs> Let's give a worship to the Lord. Yeah, so let me come back to that point. It doesn't care how good you look like. You alone will look good. And after you, your goodness will. That's it. I like to use my wife's language. That's it. So this time, I'm on my children. When I give them an assignment, I expect spontaneous results. 
I told them, I'm no more going to suffer for you. I want to see. I don't want to die before I see. What, what, what am I going to see? We went to somewhere and somebody was say, one of my cousins was saying, our father's spirit is with us. I said, go with you. I didn't embarrass him, so I didn't say it in my head. When he was alive, you wasn't with him. Now that he's dead, his spirit is with you. You are not calling God's spirit to be with you, your father's spirit. Where was he? My father has a long legs, very tall man. Oh my goodness, very boisterous man. I remember when he died and we were going, they broke the whole streets in Accra, the area we were passing, and police were displaying and all that was going on. So I said to one of the commandos that was sitting by me, they gave him to guide me, and I was following the, what do we call it, the entourage, is that entourage? I said, hey, SK should wake up and come and see. My father was said that so powerful, so much that he can drive and go and park by police and see what they will say before he speaks his peace of mind. Don't let me say it all. So powerful that I, I went to some place in uh, our hometown. And there was a particular building in the place. And I said to myself, who, who permit this man to build in this side of the country? As, because I was assuming if nothing at all, and his plan wasn't good, permit inspectors should have at least stopped this siege. And someone told me, who on earth can stop that man if he says he will do this? I said, oh, maybe some of us have our trace from somewhere. You see, but now that he died, oh my goodness. Because see, I was fortunate to be that day when we, we were putting on his dress. And such an energetic man. My father, when he stands there, he will tell you, I'm a strong man. I will, dog, I will blow you. And you joke, he will blow you. Very powerful man. You see, Mercy is laughing. When he's there, we dare not to joke. And so when we were like, wearing this thing, and some were saying, lift him, lift him. I said, yes, K. is that the end of man? We are now lifting such a strong man. So uh, let's lift for him. Peter said it. Uh, he, he told Peter, he said, a day will come. They will take you to where even you don't want to go. I mean, you will have no control of yourself. Well, I agree with the guys. I mean, we are not going to no fair, no layer. For more than no go. If you know how to do something, do it before you die. There is a place you can go one day and you're not coming back. So those that are procrastinating, I will do this out. Do it now. And now do as goes with the letters. They will see a need of a, a situation and say, let's do something about it. Let us fill this seas. You can have a word and it will happen. Let, let, let us do a miracle. So when the woman told the husband, let us, the Bible says the next day, the next year, that was the change of their life story. They, have a, they had a baby boy, which can now be a successor of this rich man. To extend that this boy died once a time in his life, and this man of God brought the boy back to life. Listen, let us do great things. I'm soliciting for church that individuals will be saying letters. And as soon as you get a church that individuals' language become letters, it means you have got a church of dignified people. Because they become so majestic that the awareness mobilizes. I said, the word, that's what? There you go. So, the Bible says, let's put this aside. And let's see another second example. What let us do. It's so sequential. And it's so, I mean, consistent. Let's see from the same second Kings 6-2. Now the Bible says, please, let us go to the Jordan. And let every man take a beam from there. And let us make there a place where we may dwell. 
So he answered, what? Go. Thank you. What is happening here? Now, we're talking about letters that a whole sense of prophets. They said that they were, it was like a big Bible school that has trained prophetess and prophets. That the whole nation respects them. Yet, they were living in a place so queer and small. They were not growing. You see, listen to me. You have such a biz, fabulous business that should have made you greater than what you are. All you need to bring in is letters. Just speak that word to one person in the company. And as soon as the person gets it, does it. Letters. Letters. So the Bible says, one of the students conspire with the rest. Why don't I, why don't I open this? Our sensual so that we can bring in more students so that we can bring in more congregations and members and the bible says they agree with him and then they went to the prophet the senior pastor i said man of god please we've taken the decision to go and fall beams and build a bigger sensual so what we need from you is go with us because maybe sometimes you need the supervisional spirit that guides. That is what the Bible says. Even Moses started it. He said, for if your presence do not go with what? We won't. They were so intelligent enough to solicit for God's presence to be with them. Even though they have the strength, they can fold the tree and do all the wonders. But they said, man of God, be with us. Jesus even said it. Without me, I want to respond. Without me, I'm here to deem people that think because of their certificate has brought them up and so they are okay. You are never okay. No matter what, you still need God. So they say, even though we want to make a move, we have the engineers with us. We have the architects with us. We have the tree fallers with us. We have the builders with us. But man of God, representing the presence of God, we still need you. Go with us. And the Lord says, anytime you ask me anything, give a clap to him. So he responded and spoke like God and he said, okay, let's go. The Bible says, when they got to the scene, I predict very well and I believe this was the very man who started the campaign for the man of God to go with them. Or maybe call for the expansion of the sanctuary. When he started falling the tree, then the axe fell down. And it fell nowhere to where the middle of the water. And when that falls into water, what happens? It sinks. We are associated with life of troubles and turbulence everywhere. Please, it was there in the time of Jesus, and it will be there till Jesus comes. So if some people are seeking for peace and all well set down life, well, oh, get it poor yet. You haven't got it yet. Because life and success is surrounded with warfare. So the Bible says, when they went and the axe fell into the sea, he didn't struggle. That was the wisdom. Don't sit in the church and go through unnecessary struggles. The only one that will brutalize and destroy you before you start to think and remember. He went straight forward to the man of God. He said, hopefully this is why we brought you here. And hopefully this is why you come to church. You come to church to be under the care. That's why any time this song is raised, then I, I fall broken. I am under the rock. The rock is always higher than I. Jehovah hides me. Hides me under the rock. If you see me, go and tell my enemy, I am under the rock. Yeah, yeah. Papa, hides me. Hides me. Sometimes you will see me in the glass room and think you hate me. My head looks like a co uh, co cocoa beans. And therefore you can break that head. Please, that glass room I am under is a bulletproof glass room. 
He has promised me that within there no weapon shall form against me will prosper. Trust me. Thank God for everything. I have my confidence and I walk with my groups. Because I have known him and I have known him, he says, he will not desert me even in the waters and let alone in the fire and in all turbulences. He's promised to be with me to the end of the age. Not in the middle. Quiet. Quiet. God is not like Confanoche to leave the Ashantis in the middle of promise. He promises and does it. He executes his promises. So, listen, he said, when he told the man of God, he didn't hesitate at all. He got the plan. You see, God doesn't struggle before he does things. So I was telling you last, if you get the prophet and they will tell you, go and bring Ben Tua. Help me, what is Ben Tua in Brofo? Go and bring strength. And these days we have, Abraham, these days we have pastors that sap people. They dance people. <laughs> Maybe your English will be better. Did you grow to meet that? When I was a child, my mother would tell me, bend down. And when I bend down, he would put the string at my back. And he would say, don't breathe in. I mean, breathe in. Breathe in, mama, and she was saying, ham, ham. So that the medicine can go in his side and miss the things there. And after you ham or you breathe in for a while, he will lift you. No. <laughs> You've done some before. Clap our I like honest people. My mother would say, jump on your feet. And I would be jump on my feet. And then he said, he will give the command, now go. <laughs> and after they go, oh, libi libi. I say, praise the Lord. Say, praise the Lord with me. And that was the reason why those days we don't fall sick. <laughs> These days, eh, constipation. Eh, dear, eh, dear. We die because we don't dance. Because we don't dance, it's God, we don't sir. And therefore, this, this, some pastors almost sang kasa. Go to their church. They dance people. They shrink people. They collect panties. They will tell you, bring this oil. This oil is not good. I have special one. Bring money. I'm pointing to a point that when they went to the prophet, he didn't call for folio water. He didn't call for dance. He didn't call for jump. Not, I mean, exaggerations are not the things of God. God is once have spoken. There you go. When God speaks, when he said let us, were there any challenge? When he called for the rain, was there any stoppage? When he called for the tree, was tree able to say, wait a minute, I'm coming. And it was, and he saw it was good. Sequential, consistently. So, when the man of God came to the scene, the Bible says he cut a tree, he threw it to the sea, or the water, and the axe by a virtue was supposed to be under the sea. He came out. According to English, he floated. Is that? He made it float. Instead of axe sinking, he went against the law of gravity. I don't know if it is the law of gravity. If you are a physician and I got it from physician. He floated. Came up. They hear the voice of God. Trees and all the rest. Why? Because he made them. And the Bible says, when he came and floated, he said, pick it. And after you pick it, he said, yeah, man of God. You know the secret? I was panting because I bolloed it. Some people are in trouble bolloing and the rest, mortgage and the rest. I want to recommend for you, come to Jesus. I said, what? 
I said what? I said what? That's it. That's why Christianity and blessings are, are started by saying it's all about yes, Lord. Just, just put it at his feet and see what he does with things. He brought the axe back. Well, you see, I'm telling you and I told you and I'm saying it. Let us always respond with spontaneous and progressive and innovational system or success. So here they are free. I can count and tell you from that time the church grew. They had a better meeting place. The whole world heard of them. Because if not, we would not be reading it today. What are you looking? Have you been thinking? Let us. What are you going through? What do you sit down for your family to break down and you weep? Devil don't care how good you can cry. Otherwise, Ashantis will go to heaven first. These days, they said they have a weepers, money specialist. When you get a year, what is a year funeral, you go and hide them. They can weep and weep in styles. Hey, weep and weep with professional tears. And yet, doesn't bring life back to life. After the year, your sorrow still remains. But when you go to Jesus, even though they wept at Lazarus, but because Jesus was there, it turned out to be a miracle. All funerals, all funerals that confronted in the days of Jesus turned back to celebrations. Uh, that's not my message, but if you want me to go there, I could give you ma more than examples. At a point in time, they were cry carrying someone. And according to the Bible, it says that was the only. And when they met Jesus, I said, My father can see her. All funerals that happened to come in Jesus' way turned out and became a party. Where will you go when your back is against the wall? Why do you disturb yourself with unnecessary solutions that have no answer to the predicaments you're going through? I said, look for who? Jesus. I want wise people to talk. Look for who? Jesus. Look for who? Jesus. Let this stick into your head. And if you want a typical example, look for Jesus, man. Look at me. I always tell you, if there is any man on this earth who is as peaceful as I am, come and beat me. I'm so peaceful. I have a peaceful family. I have a peaceful wife. Everything. This day, my wife is working on her health so that she lives long. I said, I want to also live long. This one, you're going to bring some machines to our living room. And every morning, she died for 10 minutes. And this morning, I said, no, I won't let him do, her do this and kill me and take my properties. You think women are fool? Let me die today. She will be in command. If she will weep, cry just one week. After one week, there will be quotation. Pastor Mrs. Gatte will go to her. She will be sympathized and jump on the properties. Just be wise and take care of your life. And stop complaining. You see, sometimes I don't get it when the answer is there and people are praying, Papa. So I also jump on the mercy. He said, go, Daddy. And you know what I did? After 15 minutes, I was breathing like hippopotamus. <laughs> he said, try and do 20. I said, at least 15 is better. <laughs> she has done 40. I just tell that sometimes he, we say women are serving, women are serving. They are energizing the body. Those the days when the man dies, they say it was the woman who has killed her, him. The Ashantis, especially. Oh, we're kunu kunu. And you could be a, I'm telling you, you know, he brought the food. You like where the flesh is, the sladia type, the oil type. But this woman will eat wisely, will pan the fufu with one oh, exercise. And all you live in the name of a uh, big man. And when you, when your heart stop beating, you say somebody has killed you. Oh, Malay, you kill yourself. So these days, I'm learning my lessons. 
Sometimes when they grow, they, we, we, we mama in our house, we, we don't die fufu, we pan fufu. Even here in America, we have our everything, we will pan. When they bring it, they say, oh, suffer penny, I say, no, I will suffer penny. I will also pan. You come and see me with my towel on my neck, panding. I pan fufu myself. And by the time I finish, the heart will be beating and I will be sweating. And then when you bring it before me, because there is power, to make my living. You see, we should stop that from full things and boss, 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 don't walk, sit in the car. Me, when I'm going to shopping, I'm like, you know what I do? Sometimes I pack far away and I walk. I walk some of the walking, then I'm dancing. Because I want to live long. By the grace of God, with all this plenty money in the bank and the buildings, me to die and live with Mama, you lie. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm not going to die, you too. Eh? If you want to die, you die. Because God has promised me, I'm going to build the most powerful church on earth. I have so much to do, so much that I have to work on the body. You have to. It's life. Sometimes we have to bring in a certain things to put wisdom into our heads. So let us, let us get up and reason. Let us start to do things. Now, let's see something in the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verse 3 to 7. Let's read with me, please. When we read, we magnify ourselves. Then they said to one another, come. Let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had bricks for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. You want a name? Do this church want a name? Look, let me tell you. Listen, we haven't seen anything yet. Thank God for Otabel. Thank God for the rest. There was no great church yet to be unfolded on earth as which we are in here. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. You wait and see. Always I said I've given you just five years to come. You will see something you will not believe. And that is what will prove that God is a faithful God. I've tested and and trying and i know your word is true i know this man i'm talking about i have kept for a day yet to be unveiled let us make a name for ourselves that means a name is made by you let us there also means get involved Let's get involved to make names for ourselves. L least we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. You see, we want to talk of Ghana be great, Ghana be great. Nobody will make Ghana great. Ghanaians have to make to be great. Let us. All we need is one leader who will say, let us go into farming. All we need is one person who will say, let us stop the stealing. All we need is one example who will say, let us get into manufacturing and stop putting pressure on the dollar. I remember those days I do poultry farming in the 70s. Even us at that time, we had a car by name Boafo. Boafo came 10 years after before uh, Korea started Hyundai. Where is Boafo now in Ghana? Go to University of Technology, Tech. Even the gate, they still push it. They don't have a system that opens the gate. They can't make it in blade. Even in those 10, 20, 30 years ago, we have sense to make manches. Where are the manches now? And you want a developing country? You're looking for a developing country with an export? I mean, excuse me, with everything in port, somebody got to stand in the gap and say, let us. 
Let us, let us, let us, let us be entrepreneurs. He said they don't, they won't respond, say that they will be entrepreneurs. I'm fed up with the check, check, check. When they fire you, then you, 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 you come, you are furious and you fight with everybody, even with your pastor. When you come to church, you haven't said it, there's a suffer same. Then yet you haven't said it, because their minds are running faster than they are thinking. Let us have entrepreneurs. Amen. Let us have millionaires. Yeah. Let us have prosperous people. Yeah. Trust me. Be a millionaire here. Who damn you, Trump will deport you. Trump will say, bring your money. Today he will give you papers. He is deporting you because he knows you are a poor man. Nobody will change it for you. When you see your results are not good, all you need is change your seed. When your harvest is not getting galloping, it's not being harvestious. Change your seed. See, my, my, my wife has made some okra at the back of here, our yard, and is inviting me to go back into farming. We harvest the okra. Today he brought bunch, says he's coming to bless people. Is it, are they here? Because I, I sometimes ask myself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me pass as a way when me curum. Nanka would dia dia na. And so would you, oh, fatalize it, oh, size it, oh, bola, and stay. God have mercy on me. Let us. Look, I'm talking to people who will be stimulated, activated, and get up into letters from today going. Letters brings about things and turn around lives. When God saw that he was alone, no one then knew Holy Spirit. No one then knew Jesus. But let us brought about Holy Spirit. Let us brought about the Trinity into reality. And up to now, he is with us. It was about the results of pronunciation of letters. Hey, letters. Mary, letters. You can just wake up and tell your son only, Kwame, Kwesi, letters. Get up. Because after all, he has given us the best of all predictions. He said, whatever two or three. You know why? Because the Holy Spirit it's a sandwich. Is that a sandwich? The one you will put in the middle of things. For sweet taste. Let us. As soon as you say that the Holy Spirit picks it. Picks it. Let us. Let us. He said, when they said that, I don't have time to read or read the rest on your own. The Bible says, they became so prosperous and successful in their activity so much so that that it was only that the motive was wrong. So God came to the scene and he said, hey, God also used the same word. He said, Holy Spirit, where are you? Jesus, where are you? Come and see where God was panting. Say, let this hurry up and put confusion here. Otherwise, what these people are doing, they are bringing down coup. They are Ghanaians. They are experts in making coup. Nothing. That is the scriptures. Oh, you want me to read it? I hope you believe me. Read it. So nothing can stop this. So let us also go after them and set confusion in them. So I don't go to preach there, but I can tell you the results of what can destroy your family. When there is disunity, when there is confusion, I can ban you that you are heading for a doom. Let us bring together. So let me just share with you for the sake of the tab. Three things that letters brings about. They are many, but I just, because for the sake of my time, I have fought so well with, and therefore, I don't have much time. Let me deal with you. Just three things that letters brings about. Always they associate with letters. One, one, one. First of all, let us always bring this thing as a first point. Who are you there? Leadership. Anytime you hear letters, there is a leader. 
Latest is associated with leadership. Leadership is very important. A leader could be a wife. A leader could be anything. That is why anything that has been created on this earth is owned by someone. That's why sometimes the first person that made particular car, he, he owns uh, what we call it, the, the right of ownership. You don't have to imitate. Everything has a leader. So let us start with leader. So God was a leader. This church, the person that will come did it and say, so for mommy, let us fill this church. He's an initiator. He's a leader. So I just turn by this to say that if you receive Jesus Christ, you become an automatic leader. That's why somewhere Jesus even said that you are the priest of uh, royal priesthood. That means you are responsible to lead and break doors and bring afresh new things that are in lives. So people that speak letters, they, they become an owner of status of things. I, I, I pray and I put and I prophesy over you spirit of letters. Well, you, you will see the choir leader will one day jump and say, hey, we've been praying and worshiping. However, letters, from the day she will say letters, the worship will get to a different level. The main ministry, one would sit down and one day will say, why don't we fill the man and overcome the woman in this room? So, Mr. Obin, letters. That day, the whole greatness starts. I'm telling you, I have so much in the Bible to prove to you that anything letters is spoken, the resource is success. Now, let's go to the point two, what letters associate with or brings about unity. You see, normally when we were children, we thought when you say unity, it means maybe we all live in Biadan together. Or we all live in Ghana together. Let the family be united. That means we all have to fly from the U.S. and go uh, to the village. Chen Chen Shua, or Eshe Kuma, or Uniba. And then we say, we come a family gathering. No. Unity could be in the diverse places. But they have a common word, go. Unity of web performance can be that we understand one thing, one language, and we all can be in the U.S., but those in Ghana are doing the same. Those assemblies of God are doing the same. Those Church of Pentecost are doing the same. Are you getting me? The, 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 those of the rest are doing the same. But what won't happen is you won't see, let's say, assemblies of God in the U.S. praising God and go and see assemblies of God in Ghana sleeping. As we are praising, they are praising. That is the unity of it. So, if we are united, I always tell people, if you like, see me alone. And let me talk and talk and talk. Even I will talk ten pages. Go and see my wife. She will say the same thing. That's the unity of understanding. But when you find yourself, let's say, you are in marriage for 30 years. And after, you come and see pastor. And you say all oh, your version. And your husband comes. Whilst you were coming from Kumasi, your husband will be coming from Takrade. I can promise you there is a danger in that marriage. The aircraft is about to nose down. So let us is a, it's a state of unity. And when people are together and they understand themselves and speak one language, trust me, you can't part them. You can't destroy them. You, you, you can't, I mean, they are bound to be successful. That's about a church. And let this church, let what? Let us. Not that when we are speaking success, somebody will be speaking from his nose, success here. <laughs> no. Success, success. It's like those days when we used to lift things. After we say, let men come, let men come. When men come, that doesn't mean the thing is lifted, though. It is after we say, Choboy, one, two, three. That thing it doesn't care how heavy it is. One, two, three will lift it. Because all voices are mature, are 
together. When we are one accord, the unity of the church was in the book of Acts. I always call the book of Acts as the, 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 the continuation of the works of the Holy Spirit. That's the name I give to that book. When the Holy Spirit came and they were all together and united, the people themselves saw that we can't do anything to stop these people. If you like, go to the book of Acts chapter 5 especially. At a point in time, the Bible says, there was a man who was a doctorate and specialized, specialized in the things of the Lord or God. He came to the Israelites, the Sanhedrin and the Pharisees and those pictures. He said, hey, people, if this thing from God, we can fight it. But if it is not from God, they will fall apart. So let us leave them alone. That was the success that sustained the, the church. Any time let us is spoken, he doesn't care where he's coming from. I've seen a typical, typical, I mean, our bunny, we must feel a bun some same when we brought for us. It doesn't care where they are coming from. If they understand letters, sometimes you just judge. Oh, this one is not a believer, but he has got money, and so what? Sometimes, with all you are believing and the rest, if you are divided, you are aimless. It's about the unity. The unity, the unity. And therefore, the third thing let us bring is when people are united and has a leadership, it brings about direction for an accomplishment of purpose. Direction. So these days, the direction we say, we're going to see a prophet, we're going to see, and you go and he say, do this, do this. Thank God if it is biblical direction. But that is not the direction. The direction is where when the Holy Spirit has made you purposeful, giving you an instant a punk way around an issue. Cancel you. Tell you what to do and not what to do. So this letters brings about. You see one time the wife can call the man. Hey, let's be careful the way things is going in the marriage. The soft talking she will give would divert the, 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 the missing ship back on course. Let us always, when he's spoken in light with the message and the purpose and the ways of God, is bound to bring accomplishment. God bless you so much. And we will continue. Hopefully it could be next week, let us go into evangelism. Hopefully it could be, let's get into this. Let us is important at this time of our ministry. And God bless you so much. And be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. We've heard a word, and I want the spirit to back it. Let us. Maybe you've been a fellow, at things has gone the way you're not expecting, and we want to turn around today. If you are here, and even you have never made any success in your life, that's why I'm sorry, Satan, to come to faith today through Christ Jesus. Bring Jesus into the boat. Bring Jesus into the boat. If you are here, you want to see a success, and down with failure today. Just put your right hand on your chest. Sometimes it's good we, 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 we act to show the world we pass from darkness into light. And say this after me. Jesus, today I invite you. And if I don't know you, for the first time, be the Lord and the Savior of my life. And if I also know you. I pray. I want you to be my helper. I need your help. Be with me. For I say, without you, I can do nothing. Help me, Jesus. Amen. Now, I want you to go into your heart. Are there some areas, some areas that you've missed it so much? I want you to talk to him yourself. Inviting him into your boat and into your area and into your territory means that you, have so, you, you are soliciting for his help. Sometimes I like calling, praying for people and the rest, but the best is after Jesus has come into the scene, then you make use of him. You talk with him. You, 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 you put some petitions and uh, requests and the rest before him. And then you see spontaneously there will be a turn around. Sometimes there is better prayer that when you have said it to yourself and God has responded, it then boosts your faith and takes you in the next level of your Christian worship. Let us talk to
to him. Make a word with him. Sometimes which you have never told any pastor. You have never told any human being on earth. Present it before the Lord. Have it as a dialogue with him. God is a, is a listener to, to all kinds of conversation. Letters. And I pray for you. Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. I bring your church before your throne of grace. I didn't speak my message. I gave them your message. And I asked the Holy Spirit to act upon this. Believe upon this. Cause life to change for better today. I know these ones will never be the same. Because we've associated with you today better than before. This we ask in Jesus' name. Give me the oil. And come and let me pray for you. Mercy. Miss Mercy, come and let me pray for you. Bring me.